Hey everyone, hey everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to 5 Minute Eats and it is Fast Food Fridays here on 5 Minute Eats which means that every Friday at 11 p.m. Central you can tune in and find a new fast food review from us and today we have got one of the staple kind of cult favorite products of BK that is the Burger King chicken fries. Now this is a breaded crispy white meat chicken, perfect for dipping in any of our delicious dipping sauces. We opted for barbecue. They really don't tell you anything else about it. Um, it's <laughs> Burger King, right? And if you guys don't know, Burger King ain't doing too good right now. Mm -hmm. There's, I believe, about 200 stores across the country closing. And to be honest, around us, there's a lot of them and they all have bad reviews. Yes. Um, the nearest one, we got like, you know, some, um, you know, stomach issues. <laughs> Let's say one one day, like when we went um, one time, and uh, yeah, like the rest of them are even scarier yes. when you go inside. So that's why typically Burger King we don't do um, reviews on it. But yes. we were like, you know what? It's been a while. Let's try to get this uh, uh, Spider Verse one. Yeah, could not get it. Unfortunately, they were out of the bun. Mm -hmm. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> so we went with something that's very popular at Burger King chicken fries. Yes. Now, here's what I want to note. There's a couple things already with Burger King here. So, on the website it says that the price is 5.79. However, we paid 5.99 for it. So, little discrepancy. Now, it also says that it's a 9 piece. We got 10 pieces. So, well, I guess that's where the extra yeah. 20 cents comes in. We got a little bonus, but we paid for the bonus. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your harder money, let us tell you if it's worth it. It's going to be like probably made by like Tyson or something probably. like that, right? Like it's going to be your standard uh, chicken nugget in like a different form. Yeah. So um, I do feel like the chicken itself almost smells a bit fishy. Yeah. Like I'm sure like, like they not the breading, but the actual yeah. meat. Yeah, yeah. Let's go it's for it. It's a bit funky. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back to our rating system. Thumbs up light again, thumbs down we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs up. Surprisingly, this is pretty good actually, because I've never been a fan of the McDonald's chicken nuggets and the Wendy's one. It's only good to me because it's uh, they got a spicy version of it. But otherwise, I've never really been into chicken nuggets. I think these are actually better than both places. Uh, the reason is I like the breading and then um, eating this, I didn't find any issues with it. Like, I didn't bite into anything. Mm -hmm. But then again, normally I never have this issue. It's always you. Mm -hmm. But I think it was seasoned well. I was expecting um, not much meat inside um, since this is like a cheap meal, right? Mm -hmm. But surprisingly, there's a lot of meat. And also sometimes with these chicken nuggets it can be like a fiber kind of because you know they like cut it up and they liquefy it liquefy yeah mm -hmm. they do like funky stuff mm -hmm. this is not it's just like a homemade <laughs> almost no well let me take that back you know it's not homemade but like you know it was um it's definitely not like uh like the meat a, was not as scary as you expected it to be. yeah so surprisingly all of it was good and the barbecue sauce was good. It was just your average barbecue sauce, probably made by like Kraft or something like that. But I actually think this is better than the McDonald's nuggets. Thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. All right, for me, this one is going to be a thumbs down. Wow, oh wow. I don't think that they're bad. And I will reiterate yet again, this could be an R store kind of thing. Um, but for me, what I liked about it was the seasoning on the breading was good. You know, like it was very flavorful. So that was nice. There was a lot of meat in there, which was good value for your money. Uh, the barbecue was fine. I feel like the meat did not taste as fishy as it smelled. Like I didn't really detect any like I didn't fishy taste. It just kind of smelled funky. I also did not encounter any funky bits in the meat, which was another plus. However, for me, I feel like it tasted kind of like old oil. 
And I don't even really know if it's the oil that it was fried in or if it's coming like that from the factory because it Dude, seemed. Come on, it's it's the store. Okay, it's well, gotta be the store. I, I, I'm just saying, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. before I fully blame the store, I'll, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt that I blame the store. <laughs> okay. I blame them. Okay. I'm still holding a grudge about the, the food poisoning. Yeah, the food poisoning. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, whenever we review Burger King on Fast Food Fridays, we are truly taking one for the team. So please support the channel in any way that you can. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but for me, like, I, you know, it's not bad. If you got some of them and you're like, hey, do you want some? I could have one or two. I just wouldn't go out of my way to get them for me, you know? To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.